Your Excellency President Vella, Your Majesties and Excellencies, it's my great honour to have been invited to address you today against the background of the appalling war in Ukraine. All of us here long for a world that is more fair and more peaceful. We long for a just peace. Well, I want to tell you about an exciting new initiative, a global campaign to introduce an international treaty to ban the political use of religion. We all know that one of the main messages of all religions is to be kind to each other. But unfortunately, religion has been very often used as a weapon. When we look at the world today, and indeed during the whole of human history, we see that the abusive mixing of religion and politics has always been the main root cause of the worst conflicts. There have been thousands of well-intentioned attempts to solve this problem, but very often they end up doing more damage than good by giving ammunition to the extremists. Well, I believe we have now the ultimate solution to set global rules to disarm religious extremism, an initiative led by the London-based NGO be Pure International, which we like to pronounce as Be Pure, B P U R, ban the political use of religion. Unlike all previous attempts, this historic mission comes from the utmost respect for all religions. The founder is my friend, the Iraqi writer Salam Saran, and as we all know, his country has been one of the biggest victims of the abuse of mixing of religion and politics for more than 40 years. I must say that I highly admire his unique understanding of all the sensitivities surrounding this minefield and how to build a global and respectful consensus. The proposed treaty represents a new approach to introduce clear simple and indisputable international rules to ban all political uses of religion that undermine human equality, all religious discrimination and rights and duties, all religious exclusion and all restrictions to freedom of religion and belief. The central point is important. We cannot single out any specific religion or specific country. There is no solution for this problem on any national stage. We need fair global rules for a global problem. We are all too cautious when dealing with any specific religion. That's why we need fair and undiscriminating rules for all mankind. Now, this is not separating religion and politics. On the contrary, we believe the separation is not only irrelevant, but also impossible. Even in most of the Western nations, let alone third world countries, we only need to stop religious discrimination. Our initiative is building phenomenal support worldwide. Why? because it is indisputable. No responsible government can refuse such fundamental fair rules. No one can say, no, I want to use religion to discriminate between people. Even the perpetrators would lose such an argument. These simple terms would apply to all violations without any clashes with religious beliefs. Every corner of the world will benefit from this treaty. Not only the countries which are imprisoned in the cycle of religious violence. We believe that this non-confrontational approach is the only way to build global consensus and help the international community 
to eliminate the root causes of extremism and deal with most of the current and future conflicts. The evidence is here. The support for this initiative is accelerating rapidly among distinguished leaders, officials, lawmakers, philanthropists, influential people, royalty, UN officials, religious leaders from all over the world and international organizations. A roadmap of this historic mission is to secure governmental adoption to table the proposed treaty at the UN General Assembly. And we are very close to securing that objective. We have advanced engagements in many countries. Large groups of parliamentarians have already asked their governments to adopt this initiative, especially in Morocco, Italy, Bangladesh, Austria, Pakistan, and most recently, the United Kingdom, where 27 cross-party parliamentarians are asking the British Prime Minister to adopt the initiative. That is only the tip of the iceberg, as we have different levels of support in more than 60 countries, including many of your countries. In May, we are organising an international conference in Morocco, where we have the most comprehensive support sponsored by seven Moroccan NGOs and the National Human Rights Council. More than a hundred lawmakers, officials and religious leaders will meet in this conference to coordinate the international efforts to table the proposed treaty at the UN and issue a historic declaration to work together to enact this significant treaty. Your Excellencies, we are getting very close to a new era where all mankind agrees to stop all political abuses of religion. And I believe it's a great opportunity for your countries to take leading positions in this historic mission. It's very easy for any government to say yes to adopting this initiative because it is unthinkable to say no. The proposed treaty would certainly make a massive difference to the lives of billions and serve all international humanitarian objectives by eliminating the root cause of many intractable conflicts and a long list of violations of human rights. It would subsequently enhance stability and open the doors for sustainable development. How did we miss such a simple solution for so long, you might ask? Imagine if we had had this treaty 70, 50 or even 20 years ago, we could have prevented the destruction of so many countries and saved millions of lives and livelihoods. It would reflect on every aspect of life by creating functioning and responsible societies worldwide. You're all invited to join us. Please come and talk to me and to the founder, Salam Saran, and contact us through our website, bepure.org. We need you all to join this global effort to enact a significant UN treaty that would certainly make the world more tolerant, more fair, and more peaceful. Thank you for your time and consideration.